Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog. Today we're going to take a look at the first jailbreak available for the new fourth generation Apple TV. So what are you going to need? Well first you're going to need a fourth generation Apple TV, you're going to need a USB-C cord to plug it into your computer, Xcode on the machine you're going to use to do the jailbreaking, and you're going to need a developer account from Apple. One thing we want to check is we need to be sure we are running 9.0.1 on the Apple TV or 9.0. So you can check that in the settings. If you're on 9.1 or 9.2, you're out of luck. You will not be able to jailbreak that Apple TV. That said, we're also gonna go ahead and make sure automatic update is turned off. We don't want this actually updating and taking away the jailbreak that we just put on here. And last up, we're gonna get the IP address. Because this jailbreak only offers SSH access, at the end, we will need to be able to have that address so we can SSH in to the file system on the Apple TV. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Let's go over to pangu.io, we'll put the link in the description below, and we're gonna download the new Apple TV jailbreak tool. Right now, it's currently only available for Apple only because it's side-loaded using Xcode. So there's no Xcode for Windows, so you do need an Apple machine to get this going. Once you download the actual tool itself, you're going to move that to your desktop and make sure it's unzipped. You have a folder similar to what I have. Then plug the Apple TV into your computer as well as into the power. Then we're going to go to Xcode and then Window and then Devices. This is where we can get the information from our Apple TV, namely that unique identifier, the UDID. You can either copy it or save it somewhere because we're going to need it again in a moment. Now the way we are going to show you how to do this today uses a paid developer account. So we're going to go to our developer account at developer.apple.com, go to Member Center, then the Certificates, Identifiers, and Profiles. First, we're going to add our App ID. This is going to be for the app that we're going to be kind of sideloading on the Apple TV. So under Identifiers, we're going to go to App IDs. We're going to hit the plus button in that top right-hand corner. And we're going to go ahead and give a name to our app. So in this case, I'm just going to call it ATVJB for my Apple TV jailbreak. We're then going to choose that explicit app ID and we're going to name this whatever you'd like. So I do just do com.maomagic.a, that'll work. Go ahead and hit continue on the bottom and register that iOS app ID. We also need to register our device. So in this case, our Apple TV. And you'll need to register each device that you're going to want to jailbreak. We're going to head to devices, Apple TV, and then hit the plus button in the top right hand corner. We're going to go ahead and give it a name. So this is Andrew's Apple TV. And then we're going to enter that UDID that we got out of Xcode and the devices panel. Once you've added a valid UDID, we're going to hit continue and register that device. So quick recap, we have our app ID for the app we're going to sideload. We have the device that we're going to put that app on. Now we need the provisioning profile to kind of authorize that. So we're going to go down to provisioning profiles and development. We're going to hit the plus button again in the top right hand corner and choose a tvOS app development. Hit continue on the bottom. We're going to choose our app ID, so the one that we just created. We're going to choose our certificate, hit continue again, and choose which device. So in this case, it's going to just be that Apple TV. We're going to go ahead and name our profile, and we're going to rename this in a minute once we actually download it, so it doesn't matter a whole lot. I just like to name it something that will understand it if I'm looking at it in the dev center. So we're just going to download that to our computer, and we're going to go ahead and move it to the desktop. So we have that folder on our desktop for the actual jailbreak that we downloaded from Pangu. But before we put our actually provision profile in that folder, we're gonna rename it. We're just gonna name it embedded.mobileprovision. Once we renamed it, we're just gonna drag and drop it into our Pangu jailbreak folder. So stick with me everyone, we are getting close to the end, but once we have that in our folder, we're gonna to need to go ahead and get some development information. So we're gonna open up Keychain Access, you can spotlight or however you'd like to access it, and we're gonna go down to Certificates on that left-hand side, and we're gonna look for our iPhone development certificate. Once you open up that certificate itself, we're gonna need two pieces of information. We need a team ID and a common name. So the organizational unit, that will be your team ID, and your common name, the entire thing, even with those numbers that pend on the end, will be our common name that we're gonna use. Those are gonna be part of the information that we need to enter in to the script that'll actually install the app. So we're gonna switch directories. We're going to open up terminal, type in CD, and I'm gonna drag my folder in so it knows where I'm trying to go and hit enter. So I've switched to that directory. I've into that folder inside of terminal, 
and I'm gonna hit SH, and then this really kind of long looking script name here. Now, I don't wanna actually make you have to type all this out, so in the description below, I will put a link to the article where it'll have all this typed out for you. But there are four parameters that we're gonna to need to change. So I'm gonna copy this and replace them one by one so you know what they are. First up is the UDID. If you remember, this is the unique device identifier that we got at the beginning from our Apple TV. We have the bundle ID, which is what we made inside of the dev center. So com.maomagic.a was the one that I had created. We have the team ID. This is what we had found inside of Keychain Access. The organization unit is what they called it inside of Keychain. And then the common name, which is the last one here. And this does need quotes around it. So make sure you put quotes and then type out the full or copy and paste that full common name ID that we got out of keychain. So to recap again what just happened, we opened up terminal, we hit CD which is change directory and switch to the folder where our actual jailbreak was located. We then put in this long script, we're just going to copy and paste that with our variables swapped out and once you hit enter it's going to go ahead and run. It'll look something like this, maybe with things switched out depending on what you had actually named things. And as long as your Apple TV has been plugged in this whole time, you'll now see this Pongu tool loaded onto your Apple TV. Now to actually jailbreak, you simply open the application itself, it'll say jailbreaking, and then jailbreak successful. You can hit menu to go back to your home screen and you've done it, you have jailbroken your Apple TV. Unfortunately, that's really mostly what you can do at this point. There's a lot of information available for developers or security researchers and we'll get to that later. So if you found this video useful, please subscribe, check out our other videos, and until next time, this has been Andrew for iDownloadBlog.